Test 8, Part 2. Now turn to Part 2. Questions 8 to 13. For each question, choose the correct answer. 8. You will hear two friends talking about an exam. That wasn't too bad, was it? I think I did OK. I found some of the questions very difficult. The first questions were quite easy, but when it got on to the grammar questions, I think I just forgot most of what I've spent the last two weeks revising. Come on, cheer up. I think you're just tired. You're one of the best in the class. I found the translation took ages, but I'm sure you managed to do it in five minutes. Actually, that was not a problem for me. I did it easily. Now listen again. That wasn't too bad, was it? I think I did OK. I found some of the questions very difficult. The first questions were quite easy, but when it got on to the grammar questions, I think I just forgot most of what I've spent the last two weeks revising. Come on, cheer up. I think you're just tired. You're one of the best in the class. I found the translation took ages, but I'm sure you managed to do it in five minutes. Actually, that was not a problem for me. I did it easily. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about the new school cafeteria. This is so much better than it used to be. I can actually find something to eat. Yes. Lots of variety and really fresh. Do you remember those terrible salads we used to get in the old cafeteria? They were at least a day old, I'm sure. And here there are lots of vegetarian options. The only thing is that it's not cheap. No, I have to be careful as I'm trying to save up. I'll probably bring my own sandwiches to school and just get one of those lovely coffees they make. I prefer their fresh juices myself. Now listen again. This is so much better than it used to be. I can actually find something to eat. Yes, lots of variety and really fresh. Do you remember those terrible salads we used to get in the old cafeteria? They were at least a day old, I'm sure. And here there are lots of vegetarian options. The only thing is that it's not cheap. No, I have to be careful as I'm trying to save up. I'll probably bring my own sandwiches to school and just get one of those lovely coffees they make. I prefer their fresh juices myself. Ten. You will hear a girl talking about her weekend. So how was it walking over the mountains for two days? Great! We got there on Friday and set off on Saturday morning. It was really foggy and that made it a bit dangerous, but it was warm. The weather forecast was for strong winds and heavy rain, so I was expecting the worst. But luckily, it stayed mild and humid. When I went with my friends, we had a huge thunderstorm and we all had to turn back. It was quite frightening and I got completely wet through. That must have been miserable. Now listen again. So how was it walking over the mountains for two days? Great! We got there on Friday and set off on Saturday morning. It was really foggy and that made it a bit dangerous, but it was warm. The weather forecast was for strong winds and heavy rain, so I was expecting the worst. But luckily, it stayed mild and humid. When I went with my friends, we had a huge thunderstorm, and we all had to turn back. It was quite frightening and I got completely wet through. That must have been miserable. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about exercise. Now that the school holidays are here, I want to get fit. Me too. 
I think I've put on weight too, so I want to lose it before my beach holiday. How about joining a gym so we can meet people? That's one way, but we'll have to pay. We could go jogging every morning or evening if you can't get up early, but that could get pretty boring after a while. We can make some new friends in the gym, do classes and use the equipment, so I guess it's worth it. So the gym it is then. Now listen again. Now that the school holidays are here, I want to get fit. Me too. I think I've put on weight too, so I want to lose it before my beach holiday. How about joining a gym so we can meet people? That's one way, but we'll have to pay. We could go jogging every morning or evening if you can't get up early, but that could get pretty boring after a while. We can make some new friends in the gym, do classes and use the equipment, so I guess it's worth it. So the gym it is then. Twelve. You hear a girl talking about moving abroad. You look a bit miserable. What's up? My parents have told me we are moving. My dad has got a new job, and we are going abroad. In the beginning, I was really excited with the idea of a nice climate and a lovely new house. But I think I'll miss my friends here. Gosh, lucky you! See it as a chance to see the world. I'd love to be able to travel and meet new people. Sure, you'll miss your friends, but we can keep in touch. Yes, but things won't be the same just chatting online. Now listen again. You look a bit miserable. What's up? My parents have told me we are moving. My dad has got a new job, and we are going abroad. In the beginning, I was really excited with the idea of a nice climate and a lovely new house, but I think I'll miss my friends here. Gosh, lucky you! See it as a chance to see the world. I'd love to be able to travel and meet new people. Sure, you'll miss your friends, but we can keep in touch. Yes, but things won't be the same just chatting online. Thirteen. You hear two friends talking about a book. I've just finished reading that book. It's brilliant from beginning to end. I just can't get to the end. It's so complicated, and I gave up after about two pages. The main character is the strongest part of the story, but all the rest is really unlikely. It just couldn't happen. I disagree. It's based on a true story, you know. The main character is really wonderful, but for me, the most amazing thing is the relationship between the three brothers and how they manage to live in the desert. Don't tell me the ending, please. Now listen again. I've just finished reading that book. It's brilliant from beginning to end. I just can't get to the end. It's so complicated, and I gave up after about two pages. The main character is the strongest part of the story, but all the rest is really unlikely. It just couldn't happen. I disagree. It's based on a true story, you know. The main character is really wonderful, but for me, the most amazing thing is the relationship between the three brothers and how they manage to live in the desert. Don't tell me the ending, please. That is the end of part two.